Hello! We are finally playing a new game on, tw on uh, I'm streaming a new game. Messing up the introduction, but that's okay. A game that I don't need a guide for. Yes! I don't need a guide for this game. That's right. I can just play it very comfortably. Um, and I don't have to worry. So let's go ahead and get right into it, man. I don't even... So this is Super Mario Brothers 2. This came out right around after Dragon Quest. Now, I know most people... <gasps> Oh my goodness, dude. I just ate. I know most people probably know the story of it. Um, one second. Uh, okay. Let me make sure everyone on the Discord knows I'm live. All right. So, most people know the story of Super Mario Brothers 2. Um, originally, as we all know, the Japanese version is what I already played, which turned out end up being called Mario Lost Levels. Now, that was the original Mario Brothers 2. But uh, when it came to America, Americans were like, "Hey, this game is hard as shit. I don't see many kids liking this." Um, huh. Okay. Alright, there we go. Okay. So, the game was hard as shit, right? Uh, Nintendo of America was like, kids aren't gonna enjoy this. We want people to like this Mario, because it's big. In Japan, we want people in America to like them as much in America. So they basically told Nintendo, hey, we need another version of this game. It's not like an a easier version. Nintendo, I guess, couldn't do that. So they instead got a game they already were developing called Doki Doki... Lit <laughs> I was going to say Literature Club. Doki Doki Panic. They basically remodeled it to Mario characters. And they essentially gave us Americans a different game, but just put a Mario skin over it. And you know what? That worked out pretty well because people like this game so it ended up working out for us I guess um, and this Super Mario Brothers 2 so this is the US version the US version this is when it came out in the US um, what's okay what's the story here uh, after awakening Mario went to a cave nearby and to a surprise he saw exactly what he saw in his dream okay I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but hey, we got a plot. We got a plot synopsis for one, so that's good. So in this game, you can pick out of four characters. That's right. You can pick. You can play as Mario, Luigi, Toad's bitch ass, and Princess Peach, still with the brown hair. Didn't give her blonde yet. So that's right. This this is the first game to have multiplayer type stuff, I guess, or like different characters besides Mario. This actually is one of the first Mario games I think I ever played, because I had it on the Game Boy Advance. And it was one of the first I ever played in my life. So I'll play as Mario. And this version, it really doesn't matter who you pick. It's just, uh, well, I already took a hit. That's very sad. Um, so in this game, you can't really, like, step on enemies like you usually could. Like, see, it's not working, right? Which is very confusing. You actually pick enemies up in this game and just throw their bitch asses. <laughs> the real way you kill enemies is you have to pick up an object and basically throw it at them. It, it weirdly works. I don't know. At first it may seem kind of weird. Like, alright, I don't know. I don't know about all that, but it works. I know nowadays when you play Mario, it's, it's hard to imagine not just like, you know. Okay, that's so embarrassing. It's hard to imagine not just picking an enemy up and, I mean, um, just crushing an enemy by stepping on them. But, in this game originally, that's not how you do it. It's definitely the most different out of any Mario game. It doesn't even feel completely Mario-ish at times. Like some of the enemies. Like, of course, Shy Guys end up becoming like a staple now. But, it definitely has a unique feel to it. Um... 
Oh my god, why do I suck so badly at this game? I see. I know these little, like, doors lead you to, like, some little alternate world where you can pick up a mushroom or something, but... Oh well. But yes, uh... Mario Bros. 1, I mean, nothing else is that different. It's still platformer. Holy shit, Mario moves fast as fuck in this version. Is this how he normally moves in the NES? Because I always played the um, Game Boy Advance version. I never played this version. Jeebus, crumb. I, I actually just saw a video about speedruns of this game. And it's pretty interesting. It's an interesting game to speedrun because there's a lot of tricks to it. There's a lot of, like, game-breaking tricks to beating this game. We still got stars. We don't really have mushrooms in this game, like normally. Oh my goodness, dude. Zelda Parker! Hey, how you doing, man? Thanks so much for coming to the stream. How are you today? I'm doing good. You're playing my favorite game. That's awesome, dude. I'm glad to hear it. I'm actually doing a little uh, experiment where I'm playing every game throughout history. Um, we just finished Dragon Quest II, and this was the next game on the list, so... Glad to have you, man. I hope to see you in most of these, all these streams, really. I forgot, you also have a little thing where you can hold down the down button and you can do like a nice big jump with it. Again, I don't know if they like tell you that. It's probably in the manual, of course, but yeah. Oh shit! Oh god! Fuck it. But yeah, I'm glad, dude. Oh yeah, fucking Birdo, okay. So this game introduces Birdo, too. So this game is like, it's technically not like a legit Mario thing, but it, it introduces characters that become main staples of the series. So it is, it's, 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 it's canon, pretty much. It's a canon game. Birdo is like some weird, like, deformed Yoshi thing. I don't even know what it is. I don't think Nintendo's ever really came out with what Birdo is. But either way, for some reason, Birdo does not like us and wants to kill us in this. No bonuses. Alright, we'll play the next level as Ouija. Because the cool thing is each character has their own kind of, like, system of uh, moving around. So Ouija... Uh, has this, this this is when they start oh my gosh I didn't know I couldn't go up higher than the screen I like how their heads get big but their body stays small so Ouija as we all know has his little flutter jump which is like you know kind of a new concept because he didn't have that originally see like so this is like kind of the Mario game that establishes that kind of stuff like, most of the Mario games didn't establish that stuff yet. This is the first one to establish it. Okay. These little mask guys used to scare the shit out of me when I was a kid. They're not that scary now, but they used to be scary as hell. Also, you may be like, what are those cherries, Zoin? Um, I don't know why they went with cherries, but for some reason in this game, cherries kind of like... If you collect enough cherries, you get the chance to have a star, and you can use that star to, um... Oopsie. Oh, shit. And the stars work the same way they did in the other Mario games. E oh, man, if you're off screen and you don't see the explosion? Oh, no! I couldn't... Oh, I can't get it. Damn it. Oh, man, I might not be able to do this now. <laughs> I didn't know if you're off screen, it doesn't show it, like, the explosion. Come on! Ah, come on! No! Damn it. Let's see. Damn it! This is the introduction to Snippets, bitch ass, too. Oh, I can't go. Oh, there we go. Ah! Damn, dude. fucking suck at this game, dude. Apparently. I remember sucking this bad at this game when I was a kid, but then again, I, I sucked at every game, so... 
Zelda Park, dude, thank you so much for the follow, man. That literally just made my day. Thank you so much. Um, like I said, I'm playing every game throughout history, bro. So I'm playing, um, by the way, do you have a stream schedule? I do, actually. I stream every Friday afternoon, like today. I stream Sunday night, um, Monday night, and then I stream again Wednesday night. So I stream most of the time at night. This is the only stream I, I stream, like, it during the afternoon like this. But yeah, man, thank you so much. Join the join the journey, dude. We're playing every game. Honestly, real quick, you can go to my second channel and drop a sub if you want to see the journey so far. I made a playlist, so you can see from... We started at literally Pong, and now we're here at Mario Bros. 2. We're going all the way up. We're playing all the greats. GTA, Pokemon, like, it's not just Nintendo. Sonic, when it finally comes out. I, like, have a list of, like, what games we're playing. Um, and honestly, I would just, all I can ask of you, man, is it would mean the world to me if you just told anyone about what I'm doing. That's the best way anyone can help me is just, just, just telling people about it. Oh, right. You get, uh, I forgot. That's how you get the coins. Where's the door at? Is it the last one I'm going to pick up? Oh, no. Shit. I just remembered how to get the door thing. Ah, oh, damn it. It was over here. And, uh, you can join the Discord, too, man. A lot of my supporters hang out there. Shit. I just remembered if you grab that little thing and go into that little alternate world, like, if you go into that door, you can, um... You can, um... God, I'm sorry, I'm having a brain fart. You can pick up the plants and there'll be coins in the alternate dimension. That's how you can, like, get extra lives. I forgot about that. Which is, I kind of need that right now, because I got, I got zero. That's great. Thanks, man. Thank you so much, for real. I really appreciate it. How did you find me, by the way? Also, when I was a kid, I used to always climb on Birdo and try to pick her up. But you can't pick her up. In the Game Boy Advance version, they at least struggle like they're trying to. Hell yeah. Dude, if you want to see some cool, you want to see some coolness, watch the speed runs of this game. It's really cool. On Twitter? What? It actually worked? Good to know. Good to know. Thanks, Zelda. Parker. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, so now we're going to play as Toad. Toad, and when I was a kid, was my least favorite character. Because he has the stubbiest jump. He feels the weirdest to control. But he's actually kind of the best to control. <laughs> Because Toad, see, that's how you get it. Toad is the fastest character, and his jumps are also the most, like, I guess you can say the most tightest. But they're just, they're just really stubby. He has a short little hop. He is not a good jumper, but he's the fastest. He's the fastest character. He's also the strongest, so, like, he picks things up really fast. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't even know there's a time stop ability. Okay. Oh, yes! Right, let's pick some of these up. I think there's actually like a like a warp in this level that I can pick up. Because that's right, you can warp to different levels in this game too, just like the original Super Mario Brothers. I think it's actually here. You have to get the... You have to go into the alternate dimension and then go down this pipe. And then you can go to like a different world fast. I'm not gonna lie, how does this game work, by the way? If you get a game over, do you have to start the whole, like, process over? Because that's kind of scares me to think about. One big difference about this game, too, is that it has a lot of vertical motion in it. Like, there's a lot of vertical movement in this game. I mean, that's like, you either love it or hate it kind of thing, but it's, it's, it's how it is. Like, you even have to build up block stuff. I followed you on Twitter. Mind giving me a follow back? I'm um, sure. I don't, I don't mind. Okay, there we go. And then we gotta go all the way up here. Calling this SMB2 US. There we go. So you kind of forget that you have that little extra, like, super jump in this game, but you do. I don't even know why, but I somehow always knew you could do that. 
One good thing about the mask, by the way, is that if they're ever chasing you and you get really scared, you actually can just throw it. <laughs> like, once you throw it, they stop chasing you. I did that a lot as a kid, because after a while, I was like, Ugh! Like, this guy, fuck him. Hit him with the key, they keep running. See, it's, it's cool. It's cool. It has its cool things about this this game. I actually like Super Mario Bros. too. It's different, like most of the sequels and like old Nintendo original games. Like Legend of Zelda 2 is very different from every other Zelda game that'll come after. But I still like Mario Bros. 2. It has its own unique feel to it, and that's why people kind of mess with it. Uh, unfortunately, Toad has a smaller jump than default. The mask is Fanto. Oh, that's what the mask is called? I didn't even know that. I just, I just always called it mask. So now we reach our first actual boss fight. That's right, there are boss fights in this game. Oh my goodness. It's this little bitch. Um, I don't know his name, but... Bomb Rat. He just throws bombs at you, so... Luckily, I mean, you just have to pick up the bomb and throw it back at him. He's like... He's a good first boss. It's, he's simple. He's easy. Um, he definitely doesn't scream Mario boss, though, doesn't he? Like, he feels like he's some kind of, like, I don't know, like, you'd see him in, like, some kind of DuckTales game or some shit. There you go. I think that was World 1, wasn't it? That's already it. Mauser is unique that he is the only enemy who can throw objects directly into your hands. Hey, how's it going, Super? Thanks so much for coming in, dude. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see if we can get some extra lives, because we definitely need some. I'm at zero. Hey, it works. <laughs> Three enemies. That works, too? Okay, I'll take it. Fudge. Alright, we got, we're back at two lives, at least. So now, finally, let's see how Princess Peach plays. This might not feel like a Mario game, but it's what Miyamoto designed. I like Princess Peach's look in this game. She looks almost like she's, like, dead. Like, not, like, dead, but, like, dead inside. She's kind of like, ah, whatever. She's almost like, why do I have to be part of this fucking journey? So, Princess Peach is definitely, I guess you could say, easy mode-ish. Because of one crucial thing. She has the ability to, like, float. So, I mean, it's very, you know, it's very, like, easy if you're bad at platformers. Because, obviously, it helps to be able to float in the air for a little while when you're platforming. So, Princess Peach, in my opinion, is kind of like the easy mode of this game. Like, if you're having a hard time, just play Princess Peach and you'll probably have an easier time playing that level. He actually designed the concept art for SMB2 US characters included before Lost Levels started. Yeah, th like I said, this game is... Pretty much, it is a Mario game through and through. I mean, that's why Shy Guys are, are a genuine thing now. Like, they stayed. They stayed throughout the series. They're a genuine, char like, villain character. But, like, also Mario stuff isn't in it, though. Like, for example, Bowser isn't in this game. There's no Bowser. God, just... Watching speedruns of this section is always entertaining, because it's like, how do you go down here so fast? Also, Peach's downside, though... Just like Toad, Stubby, Jump, and all that. Peach's downside is she's the weakest character. So she takes the longest time to lift things up than anybody else. So that I guess you can say that's her issue. She just, like, takes a long time to lift things up. But other than that, I think Peach is easy mode. And of course, Mario is basically like an all-around character. He's, he's balanced. Everything with him is balanced. I like this song, by the way. It's not that complex, but somehow catchy, you know? Damn, Birdo, you gonna fucking back up a little bit? You're like right in my face shooting these eggs point blank. Get fucked. Uh, it's so good to not, it's so good to play a game and not use a guide. Can I just say, I'm having a great time. I hope you guys are too, this is fun. Oh. Fuck. The float comes at a cost, she has the second lowest jump. All digs and lift are identical. They're identical? They're just governed by f frame rules, so they're, the variance may make it feel off. 
Peach has the same 30 frame roll grab everyone else has. Nani? I thought she had like a, like her, she was weakest or something. Also, each world has three levels in it. That's kind of confusing, but. So now we're back to Mario. I'm gonna give everyone their own like, I guess I'm gonna give everyone like, you know, pretty balanced treatment. I'll play Luigi. Whenever we get back to Luigi, I'll play Mario when we get back to Mario. I, just, I mean, if we're gonna have the whole gang here, might as well use them. Instead of like, you know, having the, just playing this whole game as Mario. Like, a lot of people already play, like, specific characters when they play this. Because they have their favorites, or if you're speedrunning, characters like Toad are obviously going to be better. I heard that Toad and Luigi are like... Ah, oh, damn it. Toad and Luigi are kind of like the main characters that are used for speedruns in this game. Also, if you've watched the Super Mario Brothers show... That show seemed like it took way more inspiration from this game than the first game. Because they use a lot of the sound effects from the f this game than the first game. Why do I keep going down here? There's no point, right? Second lowest jump, lowest carry speed, with standard run speed. Oh shit. Whoa. Alright. Oh, a one-up, nice. Sh oh shit! Oh man, I can't get back up there. I mean, at least that one up was cool, but. Look at that. It's crazy how like, ah, damn it. It's crazy how optimized Mario speedruns are. Cause they're so like precise at this point. Oh yes. Like, at this point, whenever they speedrun Mario 1 or 2, they're just trying to look for, like, tiny frame, like, tiny frames to improve on at this point. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of Summoning Salt, by the way, Super. You got me into that, that YouTuber. I'm a big fan of his now. His videos are good. They're very, they're very good for someone like me, too, who has very little insight on speedrunning, so... But I like speedrunning, so I like to know, like, the technicalities of what they're doing. Because it's interesting to me. Mario 2 has a lot more room than Mario 1. A lot more room? Oh, shit. Should I go left or right? I think I go left. This is like an old... This is like an old buried memory from when I was a kid, but I... Nope, you want to go right. Bad memory. I mean, the, the side with the enemies is the hardest, so it's probably where they want you to go. Shit. Okay, I might have to kill these guys, or at least that snippet. Ah! Damn it! Damn it! Uh-oh, that's not good. Get up there. <laughs> Just get away from me. Okay. Hold on. I see the chat, but let me try to make it through here without dying. I'm getting back into the swing of how this game operates. Hey, how's it going, I the Beep? Thank you guys so much for coming into the stream real quick. Oh, this one's a little bit tricky. So, Birdo's up there now. I don't think I can make that jump, right? So, you gotta like... Well, actually, what I did as a kid... I'm gonna see if it works, but it might not. Gosh, can she hit you with those fucking eggs? So... Oh, I'm pretty sure I was able to like throw the cupcake like up there with her so I can kind of basically hit her but oh well let's see let's see let's grab this bad boy oh my goodness I'm sorry uh, so Mario in theory has 0 0.6 seconds left to save Mario 2 oh you're saying it has more room to improve than Mario 1 yeah 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 it definitely does hold on Okay, I can make it with just that one. Stop making things difficult, Zine. Aw, oh, man. And then I gotta make it up there. Fucking hell. I'm coming to beat that ass, Birdo. I don't know why Birdo's a villain in this game. Can someone explain that? And now, like, for the rest of the Mario series, Birdo's never, like, a threat kind of character. But in this game, Birdo's, like, the main antagonist, almost. All right. Red Birdo shoots eggs more often, and fireballs sometimes. That's pretty much the only difference. It's a little bit tougher. 
By the way, Zoran, you can super jump holding an object. What? I didn't know that. If you clip the block through, bless, you probably save like 10 seconds on the speed run. Shit. Damn it. I tried. Alright, now we'll play as Ouija. I don't know if we'll beat this game in one stream, but we'll definitely probably get... I don't want to say close, but we'll get, we'll definitely get there somewhere. Because this game is fairly short. It's definitely shorter than Dragon Quest. This, this, this game is not going to be streamed for like, you know, more than two streams, that's for sure. Like, even on my weekends when I can't stream that much, I'm still probably not going to stream that long of this game, I mean. You do not know most speedrun tricks are found by why the fuck not. <laughs> That's what it seems like. Okay, I have a pretty big uh, speedrun question though, so I'm glad you're, you're here, um, Super, because I've been meaning to ask you. So, okay, I can make it. So, with the tool assisted speedrun, I've heard that so many times, but I'm so confused how it works. Can you explain? God dang it. Tool assisted speedruns to me? Shit! Oh, never mind. That was an overreaction, sorry. Like, a tool assisted speedrun is basically just a speedrun that's optimized to be perfect? Or is it like a speedrun that's like done by AI? I can just keep fucking you doing this? Wow, what a cheat. Oh no, you can't. Can you? Hey, what's going on, Hobbs? How you doing, man? Wait, can I exploit this or can I not? You cannot. Alright. Alright, game developers. They're like, nah, you can't just keep doing that, bitch. The game's gonna keep re restocking the vegetables, but we're not gonna keep giving you coins. Fair enough. Uh, man, it's hard to watch the chat when I play a game like this, because it's, it's not like an RPG where, like, some things are moving on their own. But I'm gonna try my best. Um... Let's see, let's, let's see how sure you are on your claim. What do you think is Redbird's egg slash fire rates? I'm assuming like extra two frames. How familiar with pianos? Especially player pianos? Not at all. TSS, TAS is either someone playing in slow motion or pausing the game, then inputting a direction slash button frame by frame. Oh. Okay, so it's literally just a speed run that they can use save states and all that so they can literally come up with like what's the best way to speed run it but those don't count as like genuine speed runs in the community right because that's just like that's just like it's tool assisted so it doesn't count in the actual speed run community does it i remember this room it's like a long dig room i remember this when i was a kid tas are ranked against other tas what so okay I feel like I wouldn't be as into that, though, because if you can save state and slow-mo things, then, like, I don't know. How entertaining is that as a speedrun, then? Get the star. Give me that. Give me that. Yes! Kill! Fuck you guys. Good star. Good star to get. This, this area kind of sucks, because it's so long. Ah, I tried to kill him. TS is largely used as showcase. I finally got a day off to watch. Hell yeah, dude. I missed you, Hobbs. How you been, man? How's everyone been? Again, thank you guys so much for coming in. I really appreciate it. Oh, goodness. Okay, so we want to just run our asses away from the mask. Oh, God. Okay, this is probably the hardest, like, escape from the mask part in the game. Like I said, when I was a kid, if he gets too scary for you, just toss the fucking key. It's not worth it. Just toss the key, man. Don't even. Don't even. Hey, what's going on, artist? Thank you so much for the, the cheers, man. Man, who would have thought Mario? Mario 2 gets the whole gang in. I mean, I probably could have guessed that, but... Can I use these? Can I get a star? <gasps> Can I kill Birdo with a star right now? Let me see. I don't know how many cherries you need to get a star to appear, but I feel like this is enough. 
I, f I, yeah. <gasps> I feel like the game developers literally set this up. Kill her! Kill her! Get her! Where's Birdo? Dude, oh, really? What? What? Oh, what? There was no Birdo. Okay. Debate completed. I could have just fucking went. I could have just ran through. I was running through like a fool because I was expecting to run into Birdo's bitch ass. Whatever. Let's get out of here. Open your mouth! Ah, damn it! I got shot in the back of the head. Wait. What? Huh? Oh, what? The boss? Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Whoa! Get wrecked, snake monster. Hell yeah. Uh, I was drawing that I know she went live 20 minutes ago. Not only can you kill Birdo with a star, it's faster. Sometimes TS is used to see potential strats in real time. Dude, check, dude, you should check out um, Summoning Salt's like Mario Kart videos. Those are really interesting. They like, tiny little drifts are used to save time. Hey, two one-ups, I love that. Let's keep that going. Hey, one-up, let's do it. Oh my goodness, let's keep this going. Fuck. Fuck. Snake monster is tri -clyde. Oh my goodness, dude. That was a good fucking end of the level. Now we're back to diaper wearing toad. So Zoin, what do you think the human time is for Dragon Warrior 1, also called RTA Real Time Attack? The human limp, like... I honestly could not tell you. I do know Dragon Warrior 1. I feel like, isn't that game kind of like fucked? I forgot who the speedrunner is. Wasn't it um someone like, I forgot it. I'm gonna butcher his name so badly. It's like a Y, I J Y or something like that. Didn't he get like a really lucky Dragon Warrior 1 time? So it's almost like, oh damn it. It's almost like that might not ever happen again. I mean, in the world of uh, speedrunning, you almost can't count on something not ever happening again because people have their records taken like all the time but um it is kind of interesting though to me how that's just just this is the life of it hope you had a good holiday broski just want to stop by and say what's up man thank you so much uh artist again happy happy birthday man now it's belated but happy birthday anyway to the king artist the dude who kind of talked me back into being like streaming again to be honest like, I already was gonna come back to streaming, of course, but he was the one who was like, Hey, man, where the fuck you at? People are... People are, are wanting your return. You know? And I was like, oh, man. Shit. Oh, man, I really need a heart or something. Fuck. Current Dragon Warrior 1 is down to five hours. Five... Or is that... Shit, I can't hit him. Fuck it. Uh... No! Okay. Phew! Alright, we're alive again. Oh yeah, Ouijawa, by the way, is the guy who you're thinking of. Yeah, that's who I was thinking of. It's incredible, man. The shit people can do with speedruns is incredible. Like, truly. I... Dude, if I ever did a speedrun on here for the Zoins... First of all, I wouldn't be part of Gens of Gaming, of course. But... I don't know. I don't know what game I would even speedrun, even as, like, a joke. Maybe something like... What game would I speedrun? I would speedrun... Sonic the Hedgehog 1. <laughs> I feel like that's a game that I know well enough that I could try. And it's also a game that's not long. So I wouldn't feel, like, you know, crushed if, like, I end up fucking up too much. I'm, n I'm not going for any world records or anything like that. I, I would... I'm not gonna get anyone's hopes up and be like, I'm gonna be a speedrun streamer now. I'm definitely not. But it is kinda like, it's impressive. Ah, damn it! Dude, look at this. I can't even play the games normally. Casual runs are tough for me sometimes. You kidding me? 
Speedrunners have way too... They have a lot... They have nerves of steel, man. The amount of stress to go through when you're, like, on a very good run and you got that one obstacle that, like, with bad RNG could fuck everything up. It's like, fuck that, dude. I couldn't. Couldn't be me. I don't have the, the nerves of steel or the temperament. Good lord, Birdo. Just fucking die already. Speedrunning is very draining. Take it from me as a former S Spelunky 2 speed runner. You, dude, you speedran Spelunky 2? That's cool. Dragon Warrior 1 with men Menips is down to 22.29. 22.29. So you can beat that game in 22 minutes, huh? That's a long game. That game has a lot of grinding, too. I feel like that has to... that You have to have a lot of very lucky... Specif specified, like, RNG to do that, though. Alright, Princess Peach. How many worlds are in this game? Yeah, and I got pretty good. Consider Zoids, Metal Slimes, and Crits. But yeah, but, like, again, though. Like, Metal Slimes, like, they fucking run away at the drop of a hat. Like, I played Dragon Warrior 1, like, three times almost now. And, like, well... Really, two times, but I've yet to kill a metal slime in that game. Damn it, how do you get through there? Are these ostriches? Or what the fuck are these guys? Oh, well, they're dead. Ah, man. I, I remember this stage. I'm not a fan of this stage. Oh, shit! Um. Remember when I talked about reloading a game and waiting to change RNG? Yeah, right? I mean, I've, I've heard... It's, it's still hard for me to honestly understand with Dragon Warrior 1 speedruns, but I heard that they pretty much want like a specific thing to happen after they talk to the king. And if it doesn't happen, they pretty much stop the game, reload it, and try again. It's very, like... It's very, like, specific stuff they want to go down. I mean, I respect speedrunners, don't get me wrong. I just couldn't see myself doing that, you know? It's too much. T too much to me. Especially... Oh, I can't drop it down there? Uh-oh. Especially, like, long games. Like, games that are, like, definitely gonna take a long time. Like, I couldn't imagine speedrunning, like, a, like, so, let's say 100%... 100% Mario Odyssey run or something. I couldn't do it. That shit... I mean, I'd be nervous just losing time at any section. I'd be like, it's over. So run's dead. Oh, gosh. I hate this. Ah, I hate this stage. Damn it. This is why I don't like this stage. I remember why now. This is like really repressed Zoin memories, by the way, guys. Like, I haven't played this game since I was literally like five. This might have, this might have been... One of, if not the first game I've ever touched is Super Mario Brothers 2. Because the first game, anything I had was a Game Boy. I don't know why even, but my Game Boy Advance was the first game I had. So the first games I remember playing were Pokemon Yellow, this, and Super Mario Brothers 1. Oh, I fucked it up again. Shit. Oh, fuck it. Okay, hold on. Let's see. We might be able to do this. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Maybe? Let's see. Ah! Holy shit, I made it. Oh god. Now I'm about to get hit by these bird things. You're very correct, by the way. If you play Dragon Warrior 1 frame perfectly the same way, you see the same game every time. Like I saw, they, they use some kind of manipulation to like make metal slimes appear. And then they like attack them in a way that they won't go away. I mean, that's impressive, but damn. Frames start to advance from the title screen. I like how Super is so... He's so... This is Super's cup of tea right here. He loves talking about speedruns. Like, I know, like, like, if me and you just had a conversation, it would just be primarily about speedruns. But I, I respect it, though. Fuck. Because just playing a game normally is hard, man. Sometimes. Some games. You know what game seems really fun to speedrun that people are going at right now? 
Mario Bros. Wonder. Dude, I, I finally got my hands on Mario Bros. Wonder. First of all, the game is fun. It's a fun game. It's, it's a, it's a good 2D Mario again. And, uh, 2D Marios have been kind of lackluster lately, but it's fun. It's a fun 2D Mario adventure. And I already see people on, they're little hedgehogs. Little Sonics before they were even a thing yet. Let's kill them. Let's kill the Sonics. Die competition. <laughs> yes. None shall oppose Mario's reign of being the best. Oh fuck. Oh well. Um That really hurt I that really hurt uh beep. But yeah, Mario Bros. Wonder, that game looks fun to a speedrun. It's fun. It's a fun game. I can see why speedrunning is already like a thing on Mario Bros. Wonder. Ah, damn it. I already took a hit. That's lame. Oh, shit. Oh, she made... Ah, damn it! She made a noise. She was like, oh! Does anyone know what Birdo says, by the way? In Super Mario Bros. 2 Advance? I play that game a lot, and whenever she... Whenever you fight her, she always says, Let's fight, you know! And it's like, what? What did you say to me? Can anyone tell me what is she saying there? This fight shouldn't have killed me. I'm fucking embarrassed, to be honest. Anyway, that was Birdo again. I like this sprite of Peach. It just looks so sassy. I think Mario's sprite looks good in this game, too. Like, some people forget about this his sprite in this game, but it, it looks good. Like, I've heard some people say they liked his sprite in this game more than in Mario Bros. 3, and... I can't hate on that, on that, uh, opinion. His sprite looks good in this game. I like the white eyes, you know, he's finally got the red cap, the blue overall, sort of. He looks like what we see on the box art with Mario now. Oh, shit! Oh. Wahoo! Um, because the King Text adva- oh wait, they want to start on a specific frame because the King Text advances? Uh, the same. Ah, oh, shit! This is a really hard game to, like, look at. Hey, what's going on, gamer dude? How you doing, my man? Holy shit! What a shitty existence! <laughs> we just picked him from the ground, he was like, Aah! Just exploded. Uh, we need to look for the Kai. I think I remember this level. I don't, I'm not a fan of it either. Oh, yeah, it's very vertical again. Oh, shit. Can you not? Can you not? Can you just walk away? You know what? Get wrecked. Shit, and then I fall again. Oh, my gosh. See? See? Holy shit, I just did a double jump! That's a fucking... That's a speedrun strat. You saw that? Uh, what the fuck? What the hell do I do here? Uh, do I not remember this level? Do I take you? No, right? Two frame trick. <laughs> Same old LOL. That was too close. Do I jump on you? Let's see. I, uh, I don't remember this, to be honest. You know what? Let me take you, because you jump. So I feel like... It's just a funny... This is just a funny game, in a way. It's just pick enemies up and just take them with you like this. Also, it makes Mario seem strong as hell. Or all of them. All of them. Oh, what? I didn't know he falls down on you. Okay. The red ones fall on you. The pink ones don't. Got it. Go over there. All right, now jump. Hey, he jumped me up there. It worked. Um, legitimately one thirtieth of a second from death. Remember, Zoin, you can super jump with items. Oh, that's right. That's right. Dude, I don't even know what I just did. Can someone explain to me how I just did that double jump? Because I've seen it in speedruns, but I don't even know what I just did to do that. I just panicked, and I just got anime luck. Oh, man. Why are there so many, like, high-ass ladders in this stage? 
Now I gotta fucking take this from these lightning butterflies. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know. Oh boy. Like I said, Zoins, I haven't played this game in a while. It's literally been since I was like six since I played this game. I've forgotten everything about it, to be honest. I don't even know if what I'm doing is correct, to be honest. Shit! Oh my goodness! What's down here? Oh, this is where I need to take the, the key I get, right? The way the enemies... Got it! Fuck! I can't climb while I'm holding something. The way the enemy's moving away makes me think of NPCs and RPGs. Sometimes they get in the way when you're trying to go. I know. So because of the game's correction from you being on an enemy versus not, there's a tiny bit of corner on an enemy where you can be inside their hitbox without taking damage or standing on them. This corner is so precise that you have two frames to be there before you either take damage or stand on the enemy. So I just did a really frame-perfect maneuver, is what you're telling me, and I did on accident. Okay, this level is kind of confusing. While you are in there, you can jump while still ascending vertically. Hmm. Let me see. I remember this. Ah, damn it. This level is kind of hard. I remember this. Okay, my brain, my memories are getting fired. I remember coming in here. I got hit on the last frame. I was invincible. Okay, hold on. We're gonna figure this out, Zoins. If you die in this game, you don't go all the way back to World 1, do you? Because that would actually upset me quite, quite a bit. I never played the NES version, so I don't know. But I remember doing this as a kid. You climb up here. Try not to get roasted by those little fire-spitting plants. And then go over here. Whatever. Where am I? Why is this level so- Oh, fuck me. Why is this level so complicated? Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. What? The game corrects your jump so you enter the air. Touch the enemy's head, which resets your jump, which tells you- Tells the game you are on the ground. How do fucking speedrunners do that purposefully, then? Hold on, I'm figuring this out, Zoins. Maybe I should have picked uh, Luigi for this, but it was Mario's turn, so it's gotta be Mario. Ow. Fuck off, all of you. Oh, that felt so good. How many enemies do you have to kill to one of those hearts float up in the air, too, by the way? Sheebus criminy! I wish I had a star. I would look at the, the chat, but I'm kind of in a pickle, so hold on. Fuck. They keep hitting me in the back of the head. Oh, I made it. Okay, so I didn't have to go that way? That was just a load of bullshit game? Oh, what the fuck? I didn't even have to go that way. Oh, fuck, the boss, I forgot. Mauser. Okay, so he's back. Get wrecked. Oh, shit! There's a little electric butterfly thing here. Shit! Okay, Zane, relax. This is that this is that speedrun mentality. You gotta have nerves of steel. The game is giving you a challenge. Meet it. Oh, we killed the butterfly. Nice. That was lucky. That was just like the first boss then, basically. Oh, fuck me. Are you bitch. Just give me a bomb, dude. Give me a bomb, broski. Die. Damn it. Damn it. Ah, I keep throwing it on the tip. Pause. <laughs> oh, boy. Ugh. For fuck's sake, just die. I can't get him. There we go. That, that, that's it. That's the one. Dead. 
Oh, we still got another one? The Nintendo rule says three hits. That's it, he's dead. What? Fucker was two inches away from the explosion. Dead. He's still alive? Just fucking die already, you immortal rat. Oh, that was too hard. Oh my gosh, that is absurd. <sighs> I can't believe I died, still, after all that. Okay, so how many... How many hits does Mouser take, then? Because I hit him four times, and he didn't die. Die, you fucking mouse. Wearing shades and shit like you're cool. You're not. You're not cool, Mouser. That has to be one of them. Oh, two of them! Yes! Dude. Do speedrunners even fight bosses that often? I'd love to see a speedrunner fight Mouser. They probably never have to, though, because they probably skip all these fights. Alright, what's going on in the chat? <laughs> Guess this is getting long for Doki Doki's worked on. Mouser Chuck Bomb at Yaru. Me and Mara had nothing to do with Super Mario Bros. Lost Devil. His team just basically banged it out. Banged it out as effectively, effectively a ROM hack. This kind of did come off as like Super Mario Bros. DLC. I mean, I personally do see this game as more of the sequel, and it's not just because I'm from America, it's it's literally just like, it feels like a sequel, it doesn't feel like the same game, but, like, DLC. I mean, Super Mario Bros. Lost Levels didn't even have any new, like, sprite. It was literally just Mario Bros. DLC, just extra content. Uh, I want to know what this is. Oh, it's a thing. Okay. So, I think Luigi's physics is that he's more, he handles worse than anybody else in the game. So it's unfortunate that of all the characters to start off our ice levels, it's him. So, fuck. That kind of sucks. Oh, nice. By the way, Zoan, if you jump very, very quickly after touching the ground, you can ignore the Luigi physics, as well as the ice physics. So you're saying jump before he has a chance to, like, jump right as he hits the ground? Luigi all slippery and floaty, yeah. Are we already at the boss? That was a short level? Oh shit, oh, you mother... Dude, speedruns of this level are so entertaining. Oh, you slut! Hell yeah! Go, Ouija! I need some more lives again. That place, like, really fucked me up. By the way, due to the zombie rocket glitch, the second half of that level has to be done damageless. Jeebus. Damn it, I can't get a single one now! Ah, oh well. Hoville! So now we're back to ba diaper baby toad. Look at this. This is this shit is so fun to watch. They like go through all this shit. You see this? Are you entertained? Are you entertained? It's all right, now. <laughs> this this is such a hard. It's so hard to get through all that without taking a hit. I'm telling you. Hey, it's the whales. Look at that. We got whales in this game. This game has interesting ideas. I think uh, Mario Bros. 2 is a, it's a fun game. Uh, one of these has the, yes, yeah, this. I think I want to do it right here, actually. No? I thought there was a mushroom on the whale's tail. I guess not. 
Funny enough, for as hard as the whales are casually, they are free in speed runs. Oh shit, I forgot the fucking stream hurts you. Okay, fuck. The whales operate on a global timer. Can I get more coins now, though? Let's see. Yep. So I guess if you got a lot of lives, you can kind of, you technically kept killing yourself. Okay, let's be more careful now. These whales are dangerous. Damn it! Fuck. Oh no! Oh my god! Whoa! Whoo! That was really slippery. Good old ice physics. Gotta love them, right? Get fucked. Damn it! Come on, Zane. The whales operate on global time, so they don't trigger till spawned on screen. No whales? Oh. Oh, the mushroom's right here. Yeah, that's where it is. I remember there was a mushroom on a whale tail. I thought it was back the other way, though. Okay, I would very much... Oh I would very much not like to get a game over here. So, we're gonna have to be very careful. Again, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not... I'm sorry if I'm not talking or reading too much of the chat. I hope you guys don't mind. Oh, I can't get any more. I hope you guys don't mind. This game is a platformer, and it's... I wouldn't say hard, but it's... It takes a fair amount of, like, focus. Plus, there, are, there aren't, like, many dead air areas in this game. Like, Super Mario Bros. 3 has moments where you're just inside, like, the item hut, or... You know, fighting a Hammer Bros. or something. This game takes a little bit more focus, because it's... It just keeps going, man. I have to go in there, right? Or no? Do I? Screw it. Oh, man. Thank you again to everyone coming in to watch. I really appreciate it, man. Ah, you slut! I needed that! Please give me a mushroom somewhere. No! Oh, fudge. Okay, you, give me your thing. Star. And it's gone. Okay. Let's see if I can beat Birdo with one one health left. On ice, lovely. Ah, oh! dude. No! God dang it! I'm s I am the king. The king of choking. I am the king of choking. No pause necessary for that. I'm not even gonna pause that. That's why I said I couldn't be a speedrunner, dude. I don't have the nerves of steel to not freak out. Get fucked. Of course. No, 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 no. Holy shit. Could that crystal have fallen into the hole? Could I have just, like, fucked myself there? What the fuck? Uh, by the way, I never gave you the odds for a Birdo egg versus Birdo fireball. What are the odds? That's what he said in bed. Thank you, Hobbs. We all needed that. That's what, sh that's what he said. Joke. Joke. I got one extra life. Oh boy. If only I can get two more. I'd at least be back to like standard lives. I like that they gave you this little chance to get lives back though. Damn it! Give me one life, one more life game. Fuck. Uh, yes, but unfortunately, game has a fail safe. If you lose the crystal, move so Birdo spawns would be off screen and come back. Oh, okay. Whew, I was about to say, that would scare me. There's Birdo! 
She's just chilling out here. The fuck? I'll be back, Birdo. I'll be back to beat that ass. Oh, okay. I don't think this matters. I think I could, like, literally ignore her, and it wouldn't matter, but I just want to kill her, because I'm, I'm, I'm just cruel like that. Um, but I don't think this fight matters at all. There you go. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, hello? Okay. What the fuck? She's back anyway. Hold on, where the hell do I go? Oh, I remember, don't even tell me, don't tell me, chat. Don't tell me, Zoins. I remember. That's pretty funny. That's pretty... That's, uh... That's creative. I don't... Don't ask me how little Zine figured that one out. Because I couldn't figure out fucking... How to beat Madagascar on the PlayStation 2 when I was a kid. So I don't know how I figured out that you need to do that, but... That's how you do it. Uh... The word you're looking for, Zoin, is petty. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, what did B-Rabbit think of the gift? She fucking loved it, man. She loved it. Uh, Hobbs drew me and Rabbit. Basically, our dog as a Pokemon with, like, a Pokedex entry and everything. Wonderful. Wonderful drawing, wonderful description. Everything was, like, pretty much how he'd be as a Pokemon. Coco, he loves the heat, though. So he would definitely be some type of fire type. He'd be a- I don't know if he'd be a dual type, but he'd be some type of fire type. Because if you put, like, an oven, if you sit that next to his face, he will get comfortable and sleep. I mean, you could, like, dump him in, like, a vat of magma, and he would, like, just cozy up in it and fall, fall asleep. I don't know why he likes the heat so much, but, um, you know, it's a chihuahua thing. Uh, okay. So now we want to climb down. So we're going to have to use these lovebirds. Oh, shit. Well, I thought you were going to go down with them. Fuck this. You're going down too, bitch. I'm going to fucking get down on those spikes. Let me ride your head. Coco lore. I know, more Coco lore. That's called a good game design, Z. By the way, Redbird is 75% egg, 25% fire. Uh, oh my gosh! Well, thank you, game. Cool. Cool to do that to me. I guess I should have rolled the red one after all. What the? Wait. Where the hell do I take? Oh, do I have to go down? Okay. Oh my goodness. God damn it! At least they died too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know what happens when you get a game over in this version. And we're one fuck up from doing that! Oh my word. What the fuck happens? Oh no! You have a certain number of continues? Oh, fuck me. You have to do the whole world over. I mean, I guess that's not like the end of the world, but that sucks. Pun not intended. I'm not in a happy mood right now. Okay. Did this have a thing in it? Yeah, it did. Okay, I guess that's fair. You have to just start the world over. But there continues, though. So... Oh my goodness! Did you see that dodge? How are you- are you Zoids not impressed by that at all? That was a good dodge, holy shit. Um... Zoid fucker, I'm about to find out. <laughs> I'm for real. Start of the world if you have a continue. How do you get continues anyway in this game? Alright, so we just gotta make it through this gauntlet of enemies. Which isn't too bad. I mean, when I'm like, when I have more confidence because I have an extra life to spare. 
That's not too bad. And Peach makes this ten times easier. I just realized I fucked up my, like, my order. Because now I, I did this level as Peach, but I, I think I should have done it as, uh, as Toad or something. GG with them jukes. Thank you, gamer dude. One life, that's not bad. Oh, man. What happens if you get three stars? I want to get three stars. Damn, this is hard. What time is it, by the way? <laughs> Not trying to fuck around and be late. Um, Dude, I just fucked everything up. I think I had Peach for the final level, right? So Toad should have been in this one. That means Mario doesn't get an ice level. He doesn't have to experience the ice level physics. Good for Mario. Let's see if we can get through here. Ah, damn it. It's always that bitch down there. Fucking shit. I almost made it through there again. Ah, boy. All right. Let's go this way so we can get this uh, mushroom real quick. I had a hard time with this level. This level is honestly the reason why I kind of, like, got a game over here. If you ever do... If you do ever got to go, I got the warp route to get back here. Oh, okay. I get what you're saying. Thank you, Super. Hopefully, I won't need it. But, you know, you never know with, with a streamer like me. I might. It's just, it's just a possibility, and we're all... We're all adults about it. We're all aware that it could happen. I could need to use the warp route because uh, I definitely don't want to start back at World 1. Okay. Shit. Just be careful of this fucking whale. Oh, come on! Are you serious? Why, is, why are these whales like kryptonite to me? They're just so hard. They shouldn't be, though. Oops, I fucked that up. Oh, well. Damn, dude. These whales are such a problem for me. I think because they make you... They shoot you back so far. Oh, my word. Why am I trash all of a sudden? Why does this level turn my brain to rot? I just become trash here. I think my brain is like, oh, shit, the whales. And it makes me, like... <laughs> it just takes my entire motor functions away from me because I'm like, ooh, whales. Whales are creatures. Okay, just like, just chill the fuck out, Zine. It doesn't help that Toad is so spastic and fast, which is kind of actually working against me in a level like this. Like, I feel like I'm constantly having to make sure he doesn't, like, go to ham and, like, run off anywhere. It's an exhibition showcase. Oh shit. Okay. No, 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 no! Kill him. Get fucked. Oh, I just. Fuck it, run. Run, Zine. Yes! Yes, that works too. Whoa. Shit, I got tit. I got tit. Damn it, Birdo! Stop! Zane, relax! Why are you so angry? Like, why are you so mad, Zane? There's no reason for that. Look at that. If you just calm the fuck down, you can beat the, the, the boss. I would like one, one, one up, please. One game? Just one. Yeah! Two! I'll take it. Last. Hey, another two! Oh, yes, sir. That is much better. We're good now. Another two! Zine with the fucking luck! Alright, now we're good. Uh, I have to stop streaming in like, say like 30 minutes. Maybe an hour. We'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna beat this game today, though, but we'll definitely try. 
Oh, wait, I need to get the... Let me get this thing real quick. Also, I do agree, Super. Good game design. I like the game design in Mario Bros. Uh, too. Oh, man. Okay, let's get this at least. Uh, Birdo? Birdo? Oh, shit! Oh, my... Okay. Can you give me an egg? Can you give me an egg, sister? Maybe this is, like, the nice Birdo that we become friends with. She's like, I'm the good Birdo, and the Birdos that have been trying to kill you are the evil Birdos. Or something. Okay. So, let's go up here. This is honestly the best level to have Peach with, because, like I said, in my mind, she's kind of the easy mode. I mean, like, the, the ability to float in a, in a platformer is, like makes it a little bit easier in my eyes. So this is honestly a good level to have Peach with. Okay, a lot of jumping, but it's Mario, so what, what the hell do you expect, honestly? I don't like these little slippy snowball fucks. They kind of, they make me nervous. The mushrooms up there? Okay, how the fuck? So that's not happening then. How the hell are you supposed to get up there? Alright, so let's get on the red guy. Because he's the one that actually goes down. There we go. <sighs> this, is a, this is a fun stream. I'm having fun, by the way. I hope you guys are enjoying it, too. I Like I said, I, I, love Dra I like Dragon Quest, actually. I'm not sure I'd say like I'm a huge fan of it yet. I'm not at that point yet with it. But I like it. But I think I just I'm just RPG'd out in general. Cause we played Final Fantasy. And then right after we played Dragon Quest 3. So I think I just needed like a platformer or any different kind of game right now. Okay, let's run the fuck away. As fast as we can. Before Heath shows up. What's his name? Noah? <laughs> What'd you say the mask's name was? Zoma? No, that's the guy from Dragon Quest 3. You can actually hit him, too, by the way. It happens rarely, but you actually can, like, hit him, and he'll, like, kind of die. Fuck. But, uh, I don't think he ever stays dead. He'll just show back up and attack you again. So, you know, you kind of can get rid of him, but not for a while. I mean, not for long. What is his name? No? Damn, dude. Peach lifts things up so slowly. Way. Oh my gosh. What? In the advanced version, you could, like, hit him. I mean, like I said, he won't stay dead, but you can actually hit him. It looks like in the NES version, you weren't able to do that, though. That's weird. I like that the game developers let you throw the key, though. It it's, gives you good, like, strategy with this and not just, like, you know, you're fucked. Oh my gosh, we're almost there! Ah! Holy shit! Whoa! Okay. Hey, no boss fight, nice. Okay, cool. See ya. Oh, nope. Oh, it's this bitch! I remember him too. He might be the hardest boss to me in the game. Espe at least when I was a kid, because his fire comes kind of randomly. But you can also knock him out the fastest, because you don't have to wait for any, like, thing. <sighs> you just have to be fast. Shit, now I'm kind of regretting getting Peach, because she attacks so slowly. And I didn't get a single mushroom this whole time, so I still just got two hits. Oh my gosh. Damn it! Let's see. Damn it! I can't not get. I like every time I hit him or it, I take a hit. Oh my goodness! This is a pretty hard one. Yeah, like I remember having. I remember having more problems with this this thing than the final boss, and that's like for real. 
It's just, it's just the way he attacks is so, like... <sighs> oh, shit! Oh, no! Ah, damn it! There we go. Fuck. <laughs> no! Are you kidding me? Why is that... Uh, <laughs> I hate stupid deaths like that. Where I have it in the bag and then I die just stupidly. No! No! I suck so much at this boss, and I don't know why. Well. Hmm. Okay, let me full on focus. No more fucking around. Damn it. This boss is weirdly hard. Especially if you have only two hits. If you got only two hits by the time you get here, this boss is hard. Shit. Oh my goodness, dude. I suck at this fight, too. Any, like, infinite, like, l any enemies that move in an infinite swooping up and down type pattern has always been a struggle for me in NES games. Medusa heads, this guy. Like, I don't know what it is, but if they move in that kind of, like, pattern, and he's spitting stuff at me from above, They ha they start off hopping slowly and then they get more and more aggressive. If I can like kill all of them, that'd be really good. But that's probably not gonna happen. Shit, see. And then when there's like two left, ah, they hop more aggressively at you. Dude, this is hard as shit. This boss essentially has like six six times you have to hit it, and I can only be hit twice. And he has a very like difficult moving up and down pattern and some of his fireballs seem like they kind of come at you like heat seekingly like they like they come at you like they're aimed specifically to get you wherever you are like this shit is hard dude this is like the fucking third to last boss and this boss is harder than both the next boss and the final boss Like, it's one of those, like, old video game things where it's it's hard. Damn it! Oh my gosh, now I'm getting worse. I'm getting actively worse. Okay. No! 
Oh, why does it not? Okay. No. This probably be blah, probably be easier if I had a character like Toad or something who's a little faster, but this is just the worst character to take on a fight like this. And I've got only two times I can be hit. Like this is just like really everything is set up to make this the toughest 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 experience. I'm sucking this bad at it though. I think it has to do with me like trying to talk. It's probably like, even if I'm like not talking for a while, it's probably just shut up. drop this on them let's see let's see I might be able to shit I only could kill two of them like that though okay they seem like they still can't get up here though so I might be okay. I might be able to do the same thing yes no oh my god I died as I fucking beat it. Jeebus crab, dude. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Peach is not the best for this fight. I remember this fight being like tough for me, but I don't remember it being this hard. I, I don't know why I'm sucking this bad. Damn it! How did that not hit it? If I could just kill all of them, that would be swell. Let's see. If I could just kill all of them in one shot, that would be really swell. I just set up like a trap here for myself here. Let's see if I can if I can do it, if I can execute. Yes! <laughs> yes! Good lord! I don't even care. Whew! Goodness gracious. Dude, screw that fight, man. I suck so badly at it, though. It's, it's very unfortunate. Uh, let's put this here. GG, thank you, Gamer Dude. I appreciate Gamer Dude's always there for me when I'm, like, having a tough fight. I appreciate the support. Uh oh. What the fuck, game? Alright. I didn't know that would go down so slowly. Now I know. Okay. Alright, so I need to be careful then. Cause... But I can't see the other log. How am I supposed to know when to jump? Jump off fish head, nice. Good old platforming. Okay, hold on. 
now. Whew. Oh shit! Pixel platforming has always been the hardest form of platforming for me. I wonder why they put a bomb there, just to like, catch you off guard and kill you. Oh man, that is tight. Pause, I think. that I could use that okay doing a little bit better this might be the last world I do today I am aware that there's only like like two worlds after this oh my goodness I am aware there's only two worlds after this but um, duty calls and all that I probably could just go ahead and do Mario Bros. 2 and 3 if I didn't have to work today, because like this game is fairly short. If you know what you're doing, I, if I knew what I was doing, I probably could have already been on, like, the last world by now. Like, it's a fairly short Mario adventure. But, you know, I don't need my platformers to be, like, super long anyway in the first place. Kind of weird that the one-up isn't green in this game. Wow! Thank you for pushing me back. Honestly, that would have—I would have. Why is? Hmm. Ah, oh, I don't know how that hit me, but it did. I would love to see the one-up. I mean, the double jump trick used in this level. What the? F What? The Mario Maker shit. To be honest, this is kind of a some Mario Maker type shit. That. Damn it! I jumped too late. Kind of makes sense that Mario is used for this kind of level because it's just all platforming, but. Jeebus! I don't remember this hard of platforming in this game. This is why. This is why my Mega Man stream, I was so cocky. Like the one game I played that's known to be hard that I actually did really good in. Like, no one will take that away from me. I beat the Yellow Devil sincerely in that game. I didn't use the little, like, pause and start glitch. I, I, I fought it fair and square. I don't think I can get any more coins, I guess. Okay. Oh, it's, uh, Gray, Birdo. I think in the in the in this uh, Super Mario Advance 2, she was green, but she seems gray in this. So, so the only difference is this form of Birdo just no longer shoots eggs at all. <gasps> it's just full on fireballs. Damn. He's got a one-up. No. Does it matter how you push the A button, or is it just like always be like this? 
Okay, we're back up to five lives at least. Which is a good amount of lives. Whoa! Five up! Nice! Okay, that was a good one. Alright, five two. Go, Ouija! Let's see. You can't make that jump, Ouija? Okay. Whoa! Ah! Fucking bomb, dude. I killed the second guy, but not the first guy. All right, it's all right. We got we got a good amount of lives to, you know, make this right. Oh god, I almost did the exact same thing. Whoa! I forgot they go down fast. Damn. Damn! There we go. Like, man, my aim is shit. I like how Luigi's head is big, but his body's tiny. Thank you, game, for constantly trying to get me with the bomb. Is this just a turtle shell again? Oh, it's a bomb. Nice, he died. Okay, now we got two Sonics. What's... What? Was that a glitch? What the fuck just happened? Okay. I can't believe people like speed run this. This game seems like hard to do that. All right. Whoa! Oh shit, I did that on accident. Oh fuck. Oh, well. I was gonna kind of use him to, like, go over there. Oh, well. Guess I'll use you then. Hooray! Oh, God! Okay. Luigi's jumps aren't bad, but they are a little scary. The flutter jump honestly isn't too bad, though. I feel like the game is, like, having a panic attack. Something doesn't feel right. Okay. So far, this level isn't too bad. Not as bad as, like, the previous levels have been. Because we're probably not... Oh my goodness, underground. Come on, shoot your thing. That also is, can be taken out of context, but don't. Alright. Oh boy! Oh god! Oh no! Okay. That kind of almost ruined everything, but it's fine. There we go. Pow! Okay. What do you want me to do with this game? Whoa! What the fuck is this Mega Man shit? What the... What is this Mega Man shit? Okay. Power block was just for those two fish. I gotta use the fish. Oh my goodness! Oh. Fighting Birdo with Luigi is he's probably the hardest person to fight Birdo with is Luigi. Since he has his like jump that keeps him in the air longer. Come on, Birdo. Like it's hard to like jump over specifically that egg and hop on it because he jumps so high. Okay. Okay. Nice. You want to get her while she's hopping. Okay. Ah! Fuck it. <laughs> fuck off, Birdo. Just had a new keyboard come in. Need to get accustomed to it now. You'd also be correct, and there are speedrun strats specific to Luigi for Birdo. New keyboard come in? I need some new headphones, man. I don't like these headphones I've been having. Like, I got these headphones because they light up on the side for the whole streaming thing and aesthetic, but then I was like, but you can't see that. Because I have the camera constantly facing- Ow! It's constantly facing forward to me. 
So that's like a detail you would never notice anyway. Alright, we got these little bitches throwing these- Oh, yes, 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 yes! Okay. What the hell am I looking at? Is this supposed to be like a giant tree? Good lord. Hey, can you, like, blow up here? Ow! Damn it. My roommates were complaining about my keyboard clack. <laughs> so you had to get, you got a new keyboard to shut him up. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Also, shout-outs to Glitched Out Music. Whoa. Oh, I could've just went that way. This game has a lot of moments in it where it's like, you didn't need... You didn't need to do what you did, game, but you did. Oh! Believe it or not, Zoins, I didn't want to pick him up. Whoa, my gosh, dude. These bombs <gasps> That's where they came from! This was the start of bob bombs from this game. Okay, I don't want this turtle shell, honestly. Gosh, wait, is there a reason to go down there? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. How to design speed game 101 optional but difficult paths. That's true. If they were designing this with speed running in mind, then that would be why they would have moments like that. Were game developers like worrying about speed run at that at that point yet, still though? Okay, this way. Oh, I should have fucking plugged the hole. Oh, I guess I can do that, too. Okay. Plug it hole. Yeah! Okay, now just jump back up. I, I guess we are in a tree. Ah, damn it! That's some Pac-Man world shit. Ah! I don't know if that could reach me still. I feel like it could have. No, we have walking plants. I, I feel like this plant's killed me a lot of times as a kid, too. That plant is my nemesis. I remember him. Fuck him. That also means I think we're getting... No. We're getting close to the end of this level. One sec, super. Okay, no more plants, please. This plant has killed me so many times, dude. I remember this. I remember this plant. That's how many times he's killed me. Fuck that plant. I knew it was the end of the fight, the end of the level, though, because I probably didn't want to uproot too many of those. Or is Birdo, is Birdo here? Um, uh, whoa. I gotta take his thing, too. Tiny, tiny bit. It's just fun in general to have multiple paths. True. That's what, like... That's what the main issue is with, like, Sonic games some people have, is that the gamers are too linear. Clouds can be stood on. Oh, really? Damn you, Mario, and your fantastical, interesting world. I like the music, by the way. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, they can be. Oh, yeah, there you go. Ah, damn it! It's so weird to have a Mario game with, like, knockback damage. Because, like, no Mario game has ever really had knockback damage, really. Besides this one. Like, most of the platforming Mario games, you'd either, like, turn back into normal Mario. Like, you know, tiny Mario. Or you... Um, or you just die. Nice. No! Oh my... By the way, if you die again, I want to do a speedrun trick. What's the speedrun trick? Strick. What's the speedrun trick? For 
super fun. So kill carpet guy, but don't get on his carpet. Oh, whoops. Okay, let's see. Kill him, but don't get on the carpet. All right, let's see. I'll do that. All right, now what? Scroll him so his spawns off screen, but not his carpet. What? Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Hey, you know what? I can kind of move a little faster if I jump. Could you, like, skip over, like, all that? That's fine, you know. Toad is the best to fight Birdo. He's just so fast. Like, Birdo is nothing to Toad. What's up with the fucking bird head, by the way? Do we know what that is? Why are we in a playhouse? Oh, it's the crab! Dude, I completely forgot this boss existed. Oh shit, what do I do? What the hell do I do here? Oh, right, okay. Right, that's what you do. Alright, got it. I totally forgot about this crab guy. Oh, whoops. Hyperspeed carpet? It's better with the first one. Oh, okay. Alright, so we gotta pick up the little crab's rocks and then chuck them back at him. Pretty simple. Okay. Unlike Mouser, though, you can't grab his fucking things in midair, so. Nice. Nice! We got two hits on him somehow with that. Okay. Throw me another one. Shit! Don't, oh my gosh, it almost dragged me into the hole. Throw me another one. Throw me one more, I got it this time. Never mind, I got this one. You're still alive, huh? Okay. Fuck me. Oh my gosh. There we go. Not as hard as the flame guy at all. He was so easy. Flame guy is still hardest boss in the game. You can easily. S oh, okay. The clouds? Not the fluffy ones, the little circular ones. Sonic 1 was a huge revolution when it came to speed game. Or ironically, and I can explain why better when we get there. Okay. I like you just telling me about the history of speed running as we're playing these games. I can imagine Sonic 1 is a definite, like, you know, increase to speed run love. So now we're in world six, by the way. Hello. Uh, this is the final to last level, or final to last world. It's, um, it's just desert again. I don't know why they went back to desert. I guess the game developers are like, eh, fuck it. <laughs> just go back to the desert idea for the sixth, sixth world. Also, this is the start of, uh, fucking, what are these guys called? Oh my gosh! What are those guys called again? Pokies? Penultimate. Nobody likes Fry Guy. Yeah, Fry Guy sucks, dude. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of Mario staples that started with Mario Bros. 2. I mean, it's as canon as Mario 1. And as Super said, Miyamoto did design it with Mario designs intentioned. So, of course, we don't really see, like, all of these enemies again. We don't ever see Mouser's bitch ass again, but... Damn, I can't get through there. Fuck, I need to pick something up. But we do see Shy Guys, Pokies, come back, Snippets, bitch asses come back. This is the start of bob -Oms, technically, so... Man, why am I sucking ass so hard? Like, I get sucking... Oh, he's dead! Holy shit! I just threw him into the quicksand and he died head first. Literally couldn't escape. That's dark. Sorry. Ah, oh, so you want to hit the bottom of him in this version. Usually to kill Pokies, you want to hit the top of him. Oh my goodness. Zine! God dang it! Best part of Fry Guy, if you kill him too fast, you can soft lock. Really? Oh, that sucks. You gotta love bosses that can soft lock your game. That's always the 
the note of a good boss fight. Why does that one shy guy keep fucking hitting me? Oh my, my, my goodness. See, part of me was like, maybe if I'm fast, maybe I can beat this tonight. I mean tonight, today. But it's 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 giving me a little bit of a trouble. Like I said, I haven't played this game in a long time. If I haven't mentioned that already. Fuck me! You can jump on these pokies? You're, t you're kid, you're lying. No. No way you can do that. You can, what the fuck? I touched his tiny ass snoot. Hold on. Oh yeah, you can, oh yeah, well. Okay, um, what? I'm so used to pokies being like, hurting Mario just from him touching him. Like, I'm surprised, okay. Damn you! You corner clipped into the pipe, same as your double jump from earlier. I wanna like... I want someone to clip that, that double jump, because I want people to know that I did that. Can we clip that and send that to a speedrunner? Hey, thank you so much for the follow! Um, how you doing, man? Thanks so much. Thank you for becoming a Zoin. Thank you guys so much. This is a great stream. I'm playing every game throughout history, so if you want to be part of that experience, then uh, I hope you enjoy and stick around. We just played Dragon Quest 2, and now we're on Super Mario Brothers 2, because this is the game that came out after that one. We're going with like the official like releases, so that's like Japanese release. Okay. Oh, I hate this part. I think I remember. Because you're like, you have to find the right one, right? Dragon Quest 3. Yes, Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest 3. We just played Dragon Quest 3. Wow. Okay. DW2 was so awful, you deleted it from memory. <laughs> Didn't happen. Don't I have to find the right base? Oh man, come on, game. I don't remember this, honestly. Like, I remember this happening, but I don't remember which base to go into. Okay, not you. Can someone just tell me? Does anyone know what base to go down? But yeah, thank you for the follow, man. Uh, real quick. If you want to check out all my other games we played so far, you can go on that, and you can look up the, um... You can look up my second channel on YouTube. In my full stream channel, I show you like all the games I've played till, up till now. Hey, you can follow me on Twitter and all that good stuff. Okay, there we go. This isn't right either. Oh, it's a one up though. I'll take it. It's next to a cap, if I remember. Want to tip on right base? Yes, please. By the way, blessings from Rai Guy who wishes you well on four. Wishes you well on four? Rai Guy said that? What? You're making Dragon Quest Four come off like it's it's gonna it's gonna crush me. It's just long, right? It's not like a difficult game. It's just a long game. I mean I've played long uh RPGs before. Damn it, this isn't right either. Where the fuck is the key? Why did you do this, game developers? I said he wishes you well, not good luck. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, which one is it, please? I don't I don't really care, really, at this point. I just want to get out of here. Next to a cap? Not you. I hate how the fucking snakes come back to life. It's next to a cap, not under one. Yeah, next to a cap. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not you. Whew, that was a good duck. Okay, we just went down that one, didn't we? Not you. Not you. What the fuck? Did I go down? Did I go down here already? 
got him? What the fuck? I was next to the snake base. Run! Run, princess! Oh my god! Phew! Oh! Ah! No! Worth it. Actually, it might not be worth it. Don't I have, like, no lives left? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh! Zane, you fool! Lads, meet Green Birdo. <sighs> Green fucking Birdo. The one who doesn't stop shooting flames. This is, uh, not good. Because Peach lifts things slowly. Wow, okay, that jump just didn't register. The game was like, didn't, didn't jump just now. Alright, it's alright. Um, so yeah, Green Birdo is the hardest birdo because he doesn't shoot eggs i am sucking so bad it's embarrassing dude she doesn't shoot eggs all she shoots are fireballs so you pretty much have to use outside sources to kill her you can step on her head she can't do anything there either Ah, I lifted it. I thought she was gonna jump. Peach the same speed as everyone else? Dude, that's what another Zoin said, but it feels like she lifts it slower. I want to see a side-by-side -side comparison. I want to see her lift things up compared to Toad then. Because it feels like she genuinely lifts them slower than everyone else. But there's, you guys are saying it's the same frame rate. It's just like... Are you saying like it's the same speed, her frames are just slower? That looks slow as shit! Okay. No, for real though, this is this is getting sad. I can't keep dying to fucking Birdo. Like, I get this is green Birdo, but like, come on now. Uh-oh. Poor thing. Want me to blow your mind on the throw blocks? Yeah. Uh, what level are we on? 6 2. That's cutting it close. Alright, this is gonna seem weird, but maybe we'll stop at World 7 and then we'll finish the game off next stream and just hop right into Mario Brothers 3 while we're at it. How about that? Uh, I didn't want to go back this way. Okay, there we go. Ah, look at that night sky. Ah, that's nice. Just a little breather, you know? There's nothing wrong with a little breather. Oh, well, there goes my relaxation. There we go. Just a nice little breather, you know? Stretch your legs. Okay, I killed a... What have I killed so far? I've killed a mouse. I've killed a crab. I've killed a ball of fire. And, uh, what else did we kill so far? We killed something. Oh, yeah, and we killed that, like, Hydra snake snake guy. He was stupid, wasn't he? Do I see what this is? No, it's just a fucking pepper or whatever that is. We're already at the end? That's the end of the stage? Dude, what? That is a chill-ass level. I like it. <laughs> the level is just be chill. That's cool. That's fine by me. Sometimes, if I developed a video game, I would have like a chill section in it. Where it's like, the player just has a minute to just relax. Like, we've done, we've done a lot to get here, honestly. It's good to have a little relaxation for a second. Ow. Get fucked. If you neutral the D-pad when you hit throw, you can drop the block in front of you. Oh, well, I, I knew that. Like that? The speed one strat for this level is bonkers. Don't they, like, jump from bird to bird and, like, not stop? I've seen that. It's fucking impressive as shit. If we're thinking about... If you're talking about the same thing I'm thinking of. Okay. Okay. 
That level was chill as fuck. Don't people like... <sighs> well, there goes the fucking pipe. Uh, the chemical. Whatever the fuck that's supposed to be. Uh, I guess it's supposed to be like a magic potion, right? Don't people like jump over this wall here and make it to the end? The craziest speedrun strat I've seen. I don't know how they do it, but they literally like, jump and then they jump again over the wall. And then they're at like the end of the level or something like that. It's fucking cool. Ah, oh, damn it all, man. Whoa! Oh, man. This level's kind of long, too, if I remember right. Or it might not be. Hopefully it's not. It's just my weird memory. Is there anything of note down there? Is that worth it, to go down there? You can go under the wall, but it's slow. You can? Aw, oh, shit, Super, I wish I'd read that sooner. I would've fucking done that, to be honest. I'm not even gonna lie to you. You just have to, like, stop yourself from, like, going under, like, the sand, right? Do you, though? Because now you show off more of the game. True. <laughs> you got me there, yeah. Alright, let's continue, then. Thank you again for the follow, uh, official. I really appreciate it. Thank you to the new followers in general. I am very much happy and thankful for you guys. Every single one of you. Those of you that are just wanting to watch, thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay, I think we're getting close to the end of the stage, because I remember climbing a lot in this level when I was a kid. It was quite annoying. Shit! Oh, I'm scared! Okay. I got scared, I'm not gonna lie to you. What are these things? Are those cupcakes? Because as a kid, I always thought those were cupcakes, but they seem hard. So are they just weirdly shaped rocks? Did you know you can jump on vines? You can? How? Like, as you're climbing? Is it like a precise frame thing? I want to say it's going to speed run straight. Oh shit, sorry, Super. I already, like, just blasted through there. Again, like I said, sorry if I missed some of the chat with this game. A pyramid now? Okay. Now we got Red Birdo again. I said that as if this was new. I forgot. We already took on Red Birdo. And I died. God dang it! This is gonna be hard, because I have one hit left, and oh my goodness, I'm making stupid mistakes like this. It's a three frames if you neutral, if from a neutral seven to eight if you go up. What? I think I just did it! I did it! Neutral, so don't hold B, right? Oh, I can't do it. Dude, I can't, dude. These, dude, like, manipulating the game through frames is one of the most insane things about speedrunners to me. Like, how do you play Punch-Out, and you're looking, you're not even thinking about their movements, you're thinking about the frames of each movement. Alright, let's go fight Birdo. Damn, it's hard to even get up there. Let's see, actually, you know what? You know what? Hold on. Get wrecked, Birdo! Damn! Come on, Zane! You basically want to walk off the vine and jump as you leave. A little more forgiving if you hold up. Oh! Interesting. Hey, she, her eggs are blocked! Oh, well. So much for that. Oh, man. I'm getting my ass kicked now. Which is not helping my case on trying to beat this game, or this stream, because I can't beat it if I'm, like, having problems with fucking Birdo. It takes me, like, ten minutes to get through this. Because we still have the actual boss. Birdo's just the fucking appetizer, dude. This is the appetizer. How do you do this, speedrunners?
Shit. Ah, damn it! He lifts... Okay, so maybe they all lift things slowly. Oh, Luigi. Oh, okay, it can hit you if it bounces off the wall. Got it. Damn it. You... The fact that Birdo is actually a problem for me is so embarrassing. This enemy takes three hits. They're kind of predictable. Kind of. Well, not this form of Birdo, but still. It's like, it should not be this, this much. She always does three eggs at a time. Damn. Why do I suck ass? At this fight! I'm, I'm dying the exact same way! Zane! Learn from fucking mistakes! Try something different! Good lord! Fuck you, Birdo! No! Whoops. That block is messing with your visual, by the way. The block I put in, uh, next to her? It kind of is. Oh, shit. Ooh. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Grab the last egg she spits. Because if I try to grab one of these, Luigi's not fast enough, I'm gonna get hit. Shit, but then, like, I have to not... Two. There. One. Two. Three. Okay, one, fuck, one, okay, now we're doing one, fuck, okay, all right, Ugh. nope, one, two, one, I did it too early, okay, whatever, fuck off, I don't, I don't care, I don't care about you, Birdo, and I think Nintendo doesn't either, that's why they just invite you to Mario Kart and the parties. Who do we got this time? Who's the boss? Oh, I gotta do a super jump. <laughs> Too early. There we go. It's fucking Flame Snake again. Hooray. Oh, if she's in a block, she'll pretend she shot one. Whoa, boy. Oh, you're invincible when you lift something. I forgot about that. Okay, that's good to know, though. Ah! Damn it! Damn, dude. Doing this with one hit left is tough. Wow. The speed strat for this Triclods is funny. Okay, what's the what's the speed strat? If it's if it makes the fight easier, I might try it. So jump into the wall and tap left. All right. Well, I'll, I'll automatically Something I won't be able to do. You can't just casually be like, alright, so first off, Zane, you're gonna wanna, like, clip into the wall. It's like, what do you mean? Oh my goodness, why am I... Okay. Alright, that one just hit my head. No, as in, like, fucking... Hold on, why did that censor it? Shit! Ram your face into the wall. The wall the wall right below him. Okay. <laughs> Using that wall below him to line up. Oh my gosh. Trying to trying to get speed run oops. Trying to get speed run strats. Well, while fighting a boss is like trying to learn a fucking Kamehameha while fighting Freezer or some shit. That may not have made sense, but you know what I'm trying to say, though. Ah, oh, I thought I was invincible. You want to jump and be holding a block. The speedrun throws the block from below him. Use your D-pad and short throw. Oh! I kind of get what you're saying. You're saying something like this? Oops. Hold on. Below him. Ram your face into the wall. Throws the block from below him. Whoops. Need to actually jump though. 
I think I know what you're saying. Let's see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit! <laughs> I'm trying, Zoids, I swear. Hold on. Shit. Oh, like that? Oh, fuck me. Let go of the... D wait. You need the height of it. You don't want to lift the last block. Oh! Okay. Shit! <laughs> Hold on, that's hitting him, but like... Fuck! Also, nice wall clip. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on, I kind of get what Super's saying, actually. This actually might help. This might fucking work. Fuck. Sometimes he won't let go of it. If you tap left and release just before it hits, you throw it to the left and get an easier hit. Right, at least tap and release before it hits. What do you mean? <laughs> what? Damn it, I fucking hit me at the tip of my head. I am sorry, by the way, that I'm showing such bad Mario 2 skills. I promise I'm better at most other NES well, most other games. NES games I am not. Don't expect much from me when it comes to NES. But when we get into SNES and PlayStation, I know what I'm doing a little bit more. Basically, like, what you did when you said, what do you mean? But, like, when I turn left, I need to see, like, a video of what you're talking about. Because I feel like I'm, like, just there with what you mean. But I'm still having a hard time figuring out what exactly you mean. You know what I mean? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Damn! How many hits does he take? Yeah, I get fucked! Oh my goodness. Alright. Final level, final world. It only has two levels in it. The second level is actually pretty, pretty long though. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just kill myself. Um, you know, sorry for the, sorry for the, the the phrasing of it, but I have I have zero lives this whole time. That's why I've been safe stating like a mother. I'm gonna use my last continue so that we can get through the rest of this. Should I go ahead and wrap this game up? I mean, I could. I guess. Oh wait, hold on. Look at this. Speed run, speed run strat, baby. Wait, this isn't. This isn't. This is actually really bad. Never mind. Bad speed run strat. I think they actually want to like take as little time as possible to get there. World seven only has two levels, by the way. Yeah, that's why I'm considering that I might go ahead and finish this game now. But I do know the last level is kind of a maze and it's kind of long. If you know what, if you don't know what you're doing. And as I've stated many times before, I don't completely know what I'm doing. So, I'm not sure we'll beat this today. Because I don't know. I mean, I, I want, I kind of wanted this stream to be, I wanted to end it around 3 o'clock. And now, we're going on 3 right now. Shit, on a slim! God, good lord, the slowdown. That hit me? You just use Luigi to skip some platform. What is the speed strat, by the way? Super's like, what, is, what was, what was the, the strat? That looks slow as fuck. <laughs> hey, ah, damn it. Hold on. Nope, 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 nope. I was gonna do it. Didn't do it. 
don't have Luigi, not gonna try it. Gonna just go the slow route. <laughs> Isn't it Cool Kid who has the record in this game? That guy's a really good speedrunner. I think, isn't he mostly known for his Mega Man speedruns? Guy is amazing at what he does. He weirdly is like probably the most, one of the calmest speedrunners I've ever seen too. Like usually when they're getting to like a really good, oh that still hit me dude. Usually when speedrunners are at a really good pace and they're near the final like, I guess hurdle, they are, you can, t you can feel the anxiety, the tension. King cool Kid is like so fucking chill. Even after he beats the world record, he's just like, all right, <laughs> that was it. It's like, what? Okay. Can I pick this up? Can I kill you? No, I can't. Ever heard of Biggie from Mega Man 4? As it's sometimes called. I have not. I've not heard- I've heard of the rapper Biggie, but I don't think that's what you're talking about. Because that rapper, Biggie, has probably never played Mega Man 4. Or, you know, maybe he has, but I doubt it. Shit. Ah, oh, what? How are you supposed to get through there? Damn it! What the fuck, game? Alright, yeah, we're, we're not gonna beat this. We're gonna beat this next stream, and then we're gonna go into Mario Brothers 3. Like, gosh. Hold on. I'm gonna take you. Can I throw this down? Or is he gonna, oh, he's gonna hit the platform. Okay, let's... It's a good thing these enemies never break out of your strangle. Oh my word. P.S. This room is free. This room frees as Luigi. So basically, I should have picked Luigi, is what you're saying. Toad is the bad choice for this level, is what you're telling me, super. Oh, nice, he vanished. Wow, that's lucky, he just didn't show up. Shit, I tried to time that, Zoins, I really did. Okay, and then I just kill my... Breathe, Z. Breathe, it's okay. You're not gonna beat this today, but you'll beat it next time you play, and that's okay. That's also a win. I mean, hell. To not have beaten this game, or played it in so long, and to get this far, you know what? That's the next end of itself accomplishment. Okay, th sometimes the enemies don't spawn, and then sometimes they do. Also, what are the- what are you guys' plans for New Year's Eve, by the way? Think, Zane, think. Okay, so we're gonna want... What are we gonna wanna do? We're gonna wanna jump here, go over here, not hit, get hit by him, jump, pick him up, throw him, kill you two. Super jump up there. There we go. Sprite slot is why. Yeah. What's your favorite, um... What are some of your guys' favorite console? Like, what's your favorite console, uh, Super? Shite on a kite. Alright, now I gotta do that. <laughs> Fuck. Now I gotta do that motion again. Okay, so what do we do? We jumped here, then here. All right, fucked up immediately. Jump here. Damn it! It's so hard not to jump. There, 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 jump. Tail, kill you. Super jump. The single screen, by the way, has a single biggest difference from RTA versus TAS. Not making that jump, so we gotta build some blocks. Oh boy, okay. Just don't get hit by these fuckers. Wow, okay, Toad, we didn't need to throw it over there? We actually just need to put it in front of our face. I didn't mean to make you think we had to throw that bad boy. Can I already make this? Nope. Oh shit! What do you think happens if you hold down up on a ladder at the same time? Wait. Hold down and up? I don't know. Like, physically, as a human being, playing on a Nintendo controller, that does not seem possible. 
So I'm guessing that's why that's, uh... Oh, I fucking forgot I could just kill them. Duh. What does happen when you hold up and down, though? Now I'm curious. So both give you speed, right? Holding up? Yes. That is literally impossible, though. Maybe if you play on a keyboard, I guess. You get the speed from both at the same time, and ups his priority. What? Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fucking be aggressive as shit. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. Oh boy! Come on, Zine. That was a beautiful fight. That kind of made up for my bad Birdo fight. He's, she's back. The, okay. Final level with Mario. That was actually almost a speedrun fight. Holy shit. All right, of course I'm gonna finish this off with Mario because he's a titular character. That's just how I roll. Uh, sorry if you expected me to pick up speed run better character like toad for this fight but i like mario because you know it's his game and all should i beat this okay super on a casual run how long do you think this level takes to beat legit just do that better i just died Because I remember this level when I was a kid, and it's it's kind of maze-like, if I remember right. So I don't remember, like, each area you're supposed to go to. Casual run, probably close to 20 to 30 minutes. For this one level? Is that right? I don't know. Speed run of this level is, like, 45 seconds. The insane difference is insane. If you want to mega fast Birdo fight, you would just neutral throws so the block goes much less distant and be grabbed more quickly. Let's see. Oh boy, let's see. We're already here. Let's try. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, Gracionis. Okay. Let's see. Because we're already here. And it'd be, it would be kind of anticlimactic if I just start Mario Brothers 3. Like, with being Mario Brothers 2 in like 15 minutes. Where am I? Like, again, this doesn't feel correct. I don't think that was right, was it? Ah, gosh! Game, I'm so sick of your fucking jokes. Like, they're not funny. That's gonna make me leave the room. Okay. That's worth it. That's a little bit more worth it. I, the coins don't matter anymore. This is the last level. This is worth showing off, by the way. Go back, if you want the speed run strike, go back to the first chain. Whoa, whoa, what are we talking here? Are we talking like back to the beginning of the like, of the level first date, first chain? Hold on, I'm gonna try to jump up, let me see. Oh, I did it! Oh, you really do, you just walk off the edge and jump. Wow, that's really tight though. Oh yeah, yeah. That would take a lot, that would take a while for me to be able to be able to do that to the point where it actually saves time before the room with the sparklers. Super, I don't, I don't completely have time for you to explain other speedrun strats to me though. I also definitely don't have time to go back to a room. Um, how about this, you explain the strat and then we just kind of know it. Because <laughs> you said it. I'm sorry, Super. I just I'm I'm trying as it is to kind of get this going. Ouch! Hold on, I can I can platform that better. 
Shit. Okay, wait. I can do this better. I can do this. Shit. Hold on, I got this. Fuck. Okay, maybe I don't got this. This is hard. Yeah, I got it. Told you. Ah, fuck. Also, nice wall clip. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah! Oh, dig, dig. I got a wall clip? Didn't even notice. Can we stop? Can we stop? Can't we just get along and stop this nonsense? Who's even the villain here? Like... That's what I was wondering at this point when I played this game. I was like, who the fuck is- what- what's happening even? What's the threat? Like, usually with a character like Bowser, it's like, obviously he's trying to kidnap the princess. That's not a good thing. So you stop him. This is like, who's causing any problems here? This world is weird. Fuck it, had to be done. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Ward is trying to steal the dream fairies. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, heart, heart! I'll take it. Give me the key, Birdo. I don't have time for this shit anymore, dude. Thank you. Give me that. Please go in the door, Mario. I remember this part. This part this part freaked me out as a kid. Oh, the raven is an enemy now. It's like what? That's kind of cool. It's like it's ah oh, fuck me. Well. So the thing I was trying to suggest for would have been warped you here and made Birdo drop the key. Oh, okay. Okay, let's set up our ammo right here. Cause he's he's just gonna fly at you. That's pretty much what this bird's option is. So let's just try. I think he only takes three hits too. This bird kind of looks like Falco, doesn't it? Like when it comes off the wall, it just it looks like Falco without a body. Oh game! I can't get in. Oh, we're already at the final. What the fuck? That wasn't 15 to 20 minutes. Unless I just went the right route on accident to repress memory. Anyway, here we are. It's Wart, the boss of this place. It's a fat frog guy. Wow. Um, let's see, how to beat Wart. So he's weird, actually. What you want to do, you actually don't want to throw the vegetables at him normally, which is what you're probably thinking, Zoin, why don't you do that? You want to throw the veggies into him. Oh boy. You want to throw the veggies into his mouth as he opens it to do his attack. It's actually kind of a smaller window than you'd expect. And you have to get right up close to him for it to work. I don't remember where I used to stand. But there's like a sweet spot you can stand where you pretty much always will get him. I don't know if it's implying that you're choking him with the vegetables or that he's just so unhealthy. Putting a veggie in his mouth is like hurting him. He's just like, oh! Health! Ew! But that's the final boss. It's Wart. He's a king, I guess, because he's got a crown. Wow. It would be, be great if I stopped taking these stupid hits. Well, The veggies have dream magic. How many hits do you think he takes? He takes uh, three, doesn't he? Three or four. That's what I think I remember, right? He does, He's not a very hard boss. I just suck right now. But he doesn't take a lot to put away. Damn. His window is pretty small, though. Son of a beach. Okay, let me actually hold on to the veggies. And stop. I'm trying to, like, speed. I'm trying to, like, be fast about it and get him on the same turn as when he shoots the bubbles. But it's probably better if I, like, stop doing that and just hold on to it. 
The veggies have dream magic and wart is anti-dreams. Okay. Is that legit? What is the anti thesis of dreams and hope? Wart is the anti thesis of dreams and hope. Oh, so fuck Wart then. So he's a big villain. He's a he's a pretty big douchebag. Let's hold up. So I think if you stand here, this is the sweet spot I remember. I don't think he'll, his bubbles will ever hit you if you're right up against the column there. That's why this is like the, well, just proven wrong. Fuck you, Wart. Just, just prove me wrong, killing me. I'm sick of your shit, dude. Oh, come on. Ah, damn it. More than three hits, that's for sure. Oh, Mario, you threw it down, buddy. Okay. Just as Boo is the antithesis of good. Mort. <sighs> you fucking son of a... I don't... I really don't have time to be fucking with you, man. Kill. Give me another veggie. Ah, oh, didn't do it. It's okay. Okay. We're gonna wanna like really just shove these down his throat then. Pause? There we go. I'm like holding nothing and then I throw it, which is why he, it's not going in his mouth, it's just falling downward. Shit! Damn. Come on, game. No! Zoin, come on. This fight would have been over by now if I was in any way better at this game. Ah! Shit! I almost had it. No! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop trying to speed it up. This is just making the fight go longer. Open your mouth. Oh, he takes more than four hits, huh? Okay. I don't remember that. What the fuck? Oh, that's bullshit. He takes more than five hits? Time for the veggies is the exact same as every third egg on... What? Hold on, I'm still shocked by the fact that he takes more than five hits. I could have sworn this fight took like fucking four when I was a kid playing on the Game Boy. Oh, Wart. Why you gotta do this to me, man? I don't want to fight you this long. I don't want to fight him this fucking long, dude. Oh. But now I have to beat this, though, because it's like right here. What am I gonna do? Stop the stream? It seems to shoot out a veggie right when he attacks. Ah. Okay. Damn. He fucking destroys the veggie as it goes in his mouth. That is rough, honestly. Actually, now that I think about it, this boss is actually a little tricky. Because you have to throw it in such a small little window with such a small opening. Shit on a stick. That's correct, because they use the same timer. Oh, so, okay. So no matter what, the veggie's always going to come out right as he starts his attack. Okay. Well, that's good to know, then. Shit. This honestly doesn't look that hard, and it shouldn't be, Zoins. It's just, you know... I'm not, I'm, I'm very not good at this game. As I've proven, I have proven some moments of being pretty good at it though. When I'm like, when caution is to the win. But when I'm like really trying to focus is when I'm worst at this game, which is weird. Four point zero eight seconds, roughly. Oh shit! I, that was an accident. Oh boy, okay. Alright, full on focus then. 
I still don't think he's as hard as the fire boss, but he's definitely tricky. Fuck. There we go. Ah! The fact that he he shoots his bubble attack right as the thing comes up is shit. That is a fucked up, fucked up little extra difficulty to this fight. If it worked on two different timers, this fight would probably be that much more easier. But since it goes off every time he starts his attack, then the egg, the, the, the veggie comes out. That makes this fight may, way harder. Because every time you grow to get ammunition, basically, you're going to have to dodge his attack, too, in the process. It's like a small little programming thing, but it makes all the difference. What a pain in the ass, honestly. If I was better at attacking them, this would be over already, though. Fuck me, he's still alive? Yes! Die! Oh, man. Let's just say rhythm is a big part of that fight. <laughs> yeah. The fight makes me excited for you to do Wonders Final Boss. Really? Hooray! The Dream Fairies are free! That's right, everyone. We fucking did it. Contributors! Um, looks like Mario and Toad got a little bit one up over, Mar over uh, Luigi and Peach. Yes! Where are they carrying Wart? They're carrying him to his death. Evidently, they killed him. Hooray! He just gets fucking... He just gets a guillotine right off, off camera. The fairies are like, yes! There we go, everyone. Mario Brothers 2. We did it in one stream, but... It was a dream! What? Is it... Did this actually happen? I guess it did. I don't know. Since, it, since the game itself is priding itself on dreams, I guess Mario was in dreamland, right? Which is not to be confused with Kirby. Look at that sprite Mario sleeping. Looks good. It looks good for the time. Ward does can't canonically exist in the Nintendo verse. Also, can comically, the ideal speedrun is eight hits on War Ward. There we go, everyone. We beat Super Mario Bros. 2. I wasn't expecting to do it in one stream, to be honest. But I'm, uh... It was a happy accident. I'm kind of happy I did, though. So, damn, that was that was Super Mario Bros. 2. Another game in the gins of gaming. Down, everyone. Uh, though to what game I'll leave that a surprise. Oh, we'll see. I know what you're talking about, Super. We'll see what game you're talking about. But yeah, this was a very very fun stream. You guys made this so enjoyable for me, and I can't thank you enough. And I really uh, want to give a shout out to all the people that dropped a follow, first of all. Thank you very much. And all the people that just watched the stream. Like, everyone who just, like, stuck around and hung out with me this, e this afternoon. Like, I really appreciate you guys so much. We beat Mario Brothers 2. So, ironically, just as America was getting Mario Brothers 2, Japan was just about to get Mario Brothers 3 released. So I'm pretty sure if any Americans were aware of that, it was definitely like a what the hell kind of moment. Because of course, you know, Americans, they want to get their hands on Super Mario Brothers 3 as soon as possible, but unfortunately, we just got two for a minute and then we finally got three. But as we were playing through two, Japan was just about to get Mario Brothers 3, so Next game on the Gens of Gaming is Super Mario Bros. 3. And, uh, it is a lot of Mario this year. This year is actually not a lot of video games, but it is a lot of Mario. And we haven't seen Mario, really, since Super Mario Bros. 2. So, I guess it's good to, find, to get back and to get back with the old plumber, see what he's up to. But, yeah, that is Super Mario Bros. 2. I think it's a fun game.
it's definitely a short game. It doesn't take much to get through a lot of it. And, um, it is, it's, it's fun. It's fun. I, I like it. Fun trivia. The brothers of my family were born during the years of the U.S. Mario releases. Oh. Oh, so during Ward's death animation, it's possible to hit him one more time, which knocks his sprite away like a regular enemy. And this despawns him four seconds faster. I need to see a clip of that because that sounds awesome. All right. That's it, though. Um, that was Super Mario Bros. 2. Very fun. Super Mario Bros. 3 is a lot of people's favorite Mario game. So we're coming up on a pretty important one. Let's just say in the gens of gaming. This is an important game to Mario fans. Mario Bros. 3 is when Mario became worldwide phenomenon. I mean, he already was very popular. If you put Mario on something, odds are it'll sell. But Mario Bros. 3 was like that proof that like, Miyamoto knew what he was doing. He already made like, he already made a killing with Donkey Kong. He already released Zelda and that still did really good. He released Mario Bros. 1, it did really good. And now Mario Bros. 3 was like, that was the game that showed everyone that this was not a fluke. This guy knew what he was doing and anything he touched is gonna be pretty good. So I'm excited to get to it. Um, you have to kill Ward on basically the last possible frame. I'm gonna look. Up, I'm gonna look that up. That sounds funny to look at. But anyway, thank you guys so much again. Thank you to the new followers. I can't wait for you guys to see the other games we have on the Gens of Gaming. Oh, and for, before I forget, Super Mario Brothers 2. Hold on. Defeated. So now we got Mario Brothers 3 next. Um, and I'm hyped for it. I'm hyped, honestly. After Mario Brothers 3, ironically, we have another RPG. Just as we kind of beat Dragon Quest 3. These other games don't take as long as RPGs. So I can get through them in like one stream. RPGs is not a one stream thing. So, damn it. But thank you so much to the follow. Uh, what did I say? Adelina? Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Holy shite. Follow at the last second. I love to see it. Thank you so much. Um, so we're gonna be playing throughout all the games throughout history. So I'm I'm excited we're getting some new followers because I know Super Mario Bros. 3 is gonna be a big one. Like I said, it's a big game and I know got people are gonna love it. Uh join the Discord if you're a new follower here, so you can get updates on everything and uh talk with the community, make some friends, all that good stuff. Final Fantasy 2 is fairly short. It is fairly short. It's short for an RPG, but yeah, it's more, it's, it's, it has its grindiness to it, but we'll get to that when we get to it. For now, let's worry about our boy Mario. And like I said, Mario Brothers 3 is the next game. I'm hyped for it. I'm hyped because like I said, it's a big one for Mario. It's one of those like, you can't talk about the Mario games and not bring up Mario Brothers 3. Um, so... But anyway, I've done enough talking. I really need to go. You guys are very fun to talk to, though. It's hard to, like, break away. But I need to get out of here. Thank you guys so much again for the amazing stream. I hope I entertained you guys and you enjoyed it. And we're learning a little bit about the history of gaming. And, uh, like I said, next stream, Mario Bros. 3. So be there for it. Next stream will be Sunday night, okay? Sunday evening. So... Around Sunday, 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. So mark your calendars. Put on the notification if you haven't. And I'll see you guys again Sunday for Mario Brothers 3. Thank you guys so much. It's been a pleasure as always. Stay, stay safe out there. Goodbye.